Hey gang, today we're gonna make a super spicy kind of Latin Mexican inspired fish sandwich. So we're starting with butter because we're gonna make an infused oil to get all the flavor into the fish. The zest of a lime. Just be careful you don't zest too far into the white bit because that's bitter. So just keep rotating. Some crushed garlic. Look at that squirt. Cayenne pepper. And just nuke that. Now we got our nice little marinade. I have cod that I just bought frozen and I'm gonna thaw it out. Nothing wrong with buying frozen. Most fish is either previously frozen or sold frozen unless you live by the dock. Get all our nice buttery, spicy, limey flavor rub that in and then we're just gonna let it sit in the fridge for about half an hour while that sits we can start working on our toppings for the sandwich if I can find a place to put this in the fridge enjoy my crotch So we're going to make kind of like a salsa by chopping up an onion. A bell pepper, which you may be asking, why is the top ripped off this bell pepper? Well, it's because I entered the grocery store right when they were restocking all the fruits and vegetables, and they stocked so many bell peppers that they were jammed in there so tight that when I went to pull it out, it ripped it apart. And it was right in front of the guy still stocking it. And I guess I was like, well, I have to take this one now. I destroyed it. But you know, it doesn't really change the flavor, so who cares? And finally, to finish the trifecta, we will add some jalapeno with the seeds removed so it's not too spicy. Now I'm gonna lay these all out on a sheet pan and I'm gonna put them under a broiler set on high and just wait until they start to get some nice browning, some color on them, just a touch burnt maybe. And then we'll chop up some cilantro so we can toss all those ingredients with the fresh cilantro when they're done cooking. I'm taking some cabbage and I'm going to toss it with sour cream and the juice of one lime. And that's going to be the base of our sandwich. So we have cabbage, fish, salsa. This will give you that nice, clear, bright tartness that you want to go along with the spicy fish. And the roasted salsa will give you the earthy vegetableiness to balance it all out. Just a nice few spots of char on there. Very hot. A little bit of olive oil, give it a toss. I'm gonna throw my bread into that hot oven just to get it crispy on the outside and fluffy and moist and warm on the inside. Prepare a pan for the fish and it's time to cook. 
Us cod is really simple to cook. It's about three to five minutes per side, depending on the thickness of it. It's the easiest fish in the world to cook. Start skin side down if you want to get that crispy skin, but on this sandwich, it doesn't really matter that much because it's all going to be kind of chopped up and tossed together anyways. Get our hot bread out of the oven with our bare hands because we are dumb. Fish is ready. Now let's make it all while it's still hot and it's going to be super delicious. I love these bread rolls so much. Our nice bright base, the lime juice in there, and the tanginess of the sour cream. Oh, the crunch of the cabbage. The textures matter just as much as the flavors. Our flaky, delicious, spicy fish. Kind of break it up a little bit with my hands and a fork. You don't want to accidentally bite into it and rip out a huge thing of fish. Get our nice salsa on top. This smells delicious and it's going to taste delicious, but dang it is pretty. That's a pretty sandwich. One last special ingredient, cheese. This is just crumbled cotilla cheese. A little bit of a salty, cheesy bite to add to it. Fish and cheese can go together, guys. There you have it, a beautiful, spicy Mexican fish sandwich. I guess cod isn't really a typical Mexican fish, but the flavors. Cod can kind of take on whatever you want to do. Oh, that cross-section. Yeah, that's amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you like the food, like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and have fun cooking.